Yo, my fellow Epic Gamers, welcome back to some more Silent Hill 3, and we got a nurse immediately just coming right up on us. I'm gonna have to deal with her real quick. Ow. Alright. We're good. We're still here in the other world, and this place is very creepy, dude. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Alright. The radio stopped. Can I get can I get over you now? Move, you big hoe! Move! Oh, she ain't dead. She about to be dead in a minute. There you go, you dead now? Damn. Alright, she's dead. Can I step over her? Big bitch, I can't get over you. Come on, come on. You're, you're coming with me, I guess. All right, there we go. Yeah, so we're still here in the other world. This place is very creepy. Ooh, it is very red out here. Is this the hallway I was in originally? Oh my God, I can't see anything. This is giving me a migraine. Oh my God. I'm so stressed. Uh, Pressing elevator, duh, okay. Elevator covered in blood, I guess doesn't work. Go figure. Oh, hey, look, a safe room. It's very cozy in here, despite all the very weird candles, the blood, probably dead body over in the corner. Let me save real quick. I saw that drawing on the dividing screen at the hospital, but this is different. It seems like it's drawn a long time ago, somehow. Got a bed here. Can I just can I just take a little nap? I'm already exhausted. We're like a minute in this episode. I'm already exhausted. What does this say? I should probably read this. The title is Lost Memories. Like, you know, the Silent Hill game, Shattered Memories or whatever? The remake of the first one for the Wii? One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers pierce a man's chest with a copper stake. Drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and to show loyalty unto God. And another sacrifice, all writ right mentioned in the same book the victim is burned alive i can read i swear it's pretty late at night so this was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate only the clergy could be sacrificed similar to burning at the stake no comparable right can be found in religions practiced nearby it may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god okay yeah that's all cool i did not want to read that again i did not want to turn my flashlight off either Time to go back out into this weird-ass world with blood everywhere. I can barely see anything. Is this open? That's locked. That was the elevator. Ooh, boy. I'm stuck on a wall. Heather, please get up. We're gonna run. This little bitch got me cornered. He's biting my ankles. Fuck out of here with that. I can't even swing on him. He's on the ground. Oh, oh, oh. Is this a door? I can't even tell what's a door and what's not. It's kind of like, is this cake or not? I can't even tell. Oh God, is this a door? Nope. Clock is broken, damn. Is everything broken in hell? I think so. Huh. This is actually like giving me a headache kind of. I don't appreciate this very much. Oh, uh, that's nice. I bet that's, that's just a bucket of red paint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that's nice. I might have walked into something. Uh, there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it is totally filled the bucket set below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a full out bloodletting. That's a very amazing word. Um, yeah, there's, there's a poor man. That's a... Uh, I don't think that's very healthy. I think that stuff in the bucket there is supposed to be, uh, supposed to be inside you, bro. So, like, I found a plastic bag. So, can I, like... That's my supplies. I need items. I found a plastic bag. Can I, like... Oh! We scooped up the blood and put it in the bag. We got a plastic bag filled with blood. How much did we take? That thing is, like, empty now. Oh, my God. We took, like, the whole entire bucket. Uh, another thing will probably be filled in another, like, five minutes. That man is bleeding quite a lot. <laughs> There's a note just laying on the middle of the floor here. What's this say? Probably nothing good. I'm probably not going to like anything. Oh, just from that, I can already tell I'm not going to like it. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor, as a protector of the steel. I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. That's very enlightening. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones, but it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Wow, you slayed with that, Heather. You really ate him up. <laughs> Gagged his ass. Is that all that's in here? Just that little book? I'm wandering around like a headless chicken. I am so lost in here. 
all right i'm not gonna lie i looked it up because i'm i'm very lost and apparently the thing of blood goes here in this room Ooh, yeah just sprinkle that stuff right all over that table She just took the bag and went, huh, and it all just fell out. Huh? Since when did that get there? Was that there the whole time? Are you kidding me? How blind am I? Wait, Heather, did you not notice that? Or did that, oh, it must have been like a trap door type thing. I was about to say, cause the door is right there. So Heather would have to like jump over under, the, uh, okay. I'm not gonna question it. It was probably like a trap door. <laughs> Unless Heather is just the most, or I am the most blind person ever play a video game ever. Ooh, another cutscene, two in a row. That's crazy. Back in the sewers. Always hate this part. I'm so burning my clothes. I, that water looks horrible. Oh my God. <laughs> Heather. Yeah. Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I guess it's time to dispose of her. The salvation of all mankind. Come! Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. Only we who hearken to the voice of God will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so, Heather? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me! I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. So you tried to trick me? So you could run off with my seal, huh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! Bro, I have no I idea what's going on. I, I just got here. I trying to trick anyone. What is this? Seal thing anyway. Oh, don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine. I was appointed by God to be its guardian. The only thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. Wow. Is that you? <laughs> Hello, and Leonard. To all who turn their backs on God. Where's your mouth? Is every person here a mental case? Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. Oh, is she talking to me? Or is she talking to Leonard? Fourth wall. Oh my god, boss fight. Fourth wall break? We're really about to fight in all this poo water? All right, if that's how you want to do it, Leonard, I'm gonna bust out my shoddy. Oh wait, hold on, let me reload that real quick. There we go. Ooh, I got the submachine gun though, too. I think I only have like 30 bullets for that, that's fine. I got quite a bit for the shotgun. Let me see, come here, Leonard. Face your death at me. Shot him right in the nuts, dude. Get your ass up. I don't want to waste bullets and like shoot the wall, so. Get up, Leonard. I got something for your ass. Oh God, he got up faster than I anticipated. Why does he fall down like that? That's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Not even gonna lie. Back up. I got your number, Leonard. Get your ass up. Hi -ya! Is he gonna do that every time I shoot him? He's like, oh my God, you shot me. What lever will I do? Then he pops back up. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. And I just put him right back down on his ass. Come on. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing, Leonard? None of that. Stop doing that. That's creepy. Oh my god. He's swimming around in the poo. Take that. I'm sorry. I keep shooting you in the nuts every single time. I don't even think he has any nuts, though, honestly. He's like a Ken doll down there. Can you, like, stop doing that so I can, like, shoot you? You're being kind of rude right now, Leonard. Not even gonna lie. Oh. There we go. Shot him in the ass. Change it up a little bit. <laughs> Just probably reload my gun. I probably got, like, uh, two bullets left. Reload. There we go. Is this all it is? You wait for him to pop up and then just put him right back down on his ass? Hi there! Boom! Can I shoot him while he's down? I can. Okay, I didn't want to risk it. That makes sense. I don't want to, like, shoot the wall and waste my bullets. I'm very stingy when it comes to bullets. And good night, Leonard. It was all a dream. I wake up in a mental asylum. <laughs> it's probably where Heather belongs, honestly. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? Is that that shit from Gravity Falls? Kind of looks like it. All right, so now we're going back to that hotel. We're going to go see Dougie Dougie and Dougathan the third. If I can remember how to get the hell out of here, that is. I'm going the right way. This looks somewhat familiar, kind of. The front door should say exit hopefully is this it right here let's pray <laughs> why did you send her to my father oh was that wrong it's your fault that he but surely it's a good thing it means he was one of god's beloved no those who mock god will never receive salvation You'll go to hell, Vincent! You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. Kicked you and made you cry. Oh, the memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes. And that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. So is that like Spider-Man and Mary Jane in an alternate universe? Or Spider-Man and Catwoman? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Laura, Laura Bailey and Yuri Lowenthal. I'm pretty sure. It's a lot less dark out here now. I kind of appreciate that. Although the sun is kind of setting a tiny bit, it looks like. I got my shoddy, though. Now i got to remember where the motel was. Well, clearly not that way. So I will just turn my ass around. <laughs> Do the walk of shame back this way. We have arrived back at the hotel because I used the map for like the first time during this playthrough. Now I got to remember what room number was I on? Probably the only one up here. I assume so. I remember going down these stairs. So theoretically, never mind. I lied. I didn't go. 
<laughs> no trespassing. Uh, I hope I didn't go down those stairs then. Let's just try this one. 106. Here we go. Oh. You're in my room, sir. Please get out. Where's Douglas? What is this he music? <laughs> but he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no. Just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake, on the north side. If you're going, you'd better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far, but it's closer than heaven. <laughs> Is that it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? Not at all. Not in the slightest bit. All right, looks like we're going back to the... Can I Can I go back in there? There's, there's a save in there. Uh, I don't think I'll go back inside. I really should go to the amusement park. We're going back to that damn amusement park, bro? Well, where is that? Is that on my map? Uh, it looks like it. All right, back to the amusement park where it all started. Maybe I can actually ride a ride this time. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but got, if you guys are enjoying the playthrough, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Hit the bell for all those great notifications. Make sure you hit all because if you just hit like personalize or something, those shits will not pop up. And then we'll both be sad because you don't get to see the greatest videos ever made. And I don't get any views on the greatest videos ever made. So it's a win win. Just hit that bell. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. This HD collection, it's definitely had some problems, but... I don't know, it hasn't been like unplayable or anything for me so far at least. But then again, I did play the original, but I was like really, really young when I did. Because I think I used to have a PS2 way back in the day and my sister would play this game all the time. And um, yeah, so I have played the original and we're at the amusement park. Back where it all started. But I really am loving this game. Heather is such a sleigh. I love her. <laughs> This is a really bad time to get cramps, Heather. Oh, hell. <laughs> Must have just been that corn dog I got last time I was here. <laughs> 